today we got an ice maker that's not making any ice. You know, as you can see, the bucket is empty there. There's no water in the ice maker. Fingers dry. Go back here in this cup here. Oh yeah, it's full of ice. Full ice probably means the water inlet valve is slowly trickling water up to the ice maker and it's filling up and freezing. I'll pull this ice maker out and give you a closer look. It's just two screws, one here and one here. Loosen those up, ice maker lifts out, and you can work. Get the bucket out of there so we can move around. I'm not sure why he's got a, a newspaper in there. Interesting. All right, I'll loosen the screws and it should just lift on out. There we go. And just want to unplug it too. Use my little, a little tiny tech driver. Pull that little tab out that helps it unplug easier. That come from the back too. Go. Knocked a little sausage off, it's all right. And there is our problem. It is blocked with ice. So ice can't come down and into the ice maker. Very common, especially with these GE refrigerators. Yeah, as you can see, that is blocked as well. The little tube that feeds the ice maker. Uh, solid ice, so it's gonna be a bad, a bad water inlet valve. This pulls out as well. You can run some hot water into it, thaw it out. Oh, it's something's frozen. There we go. Pull that out, and this is frozen as well. So we'll have to get our squirt bottle and thaw that out. Get you a squirt bottle, a squirt bottle full of hot water, squirt it up in there, and that'll thaw all that out. All right, got me a squirt bottle full of hot water. Just squirt it up in there. That'll fall that ice right out. That's the way I've been doing it forever and it always works. Then we'll install our new water inlet valve. All right, the feed tube is thawed out. Just make sure you thaw it out all the way to the back. If you still have ice in there like towards the back, it's still not gonna feed to the ice maker. This is thawed out as well. So we can pop that back on. Now we can install our new water inlet valve. All right, Skid, this is what we're gonna be replacing right here, the water inlet valve. And what's happening is this is a solenoid and it's not closing all the way. So water slowly trickles up the tube and into the freezer, into the ice maker, and freezes. It just never stops coming, it just keeps going. Water freezes, blocks it up, and uh, you gotta replace it. In uh, severe cases, it'll block it, and then when it calls for water, it'll blow this thing out the back. It'll just separ separate from the refrigerator and just pshhh, throw water everywhere, but this isn't that major of a case here, minor case. And uh, this is my new one. <clears throat> if you guys wanna order one to have it delivered to your house, I'll leave a link to it in the description below on this video. Just click on the link and, and order it. Just make sure it matches your refrigerator. You know, look at your water valve and make sure the picture matches. But on this particular case, here's the uh, part number. WR57X133. Shut the water off first. This is a pretty simple fix. Good work order for you new guys. If you get an ice maker work order or anything like that. The water inlet valve is usually the cause. And to get this black tube out, push it in with your fingers on this white circle. Push it in and then pull it out. There'll be some water, but I got a paper towel down. I'll try to break these off because it's easier to get to the supply line. 
and just take off the supply line and you are good to go. <clears throat> That's it, we're ready for the new one. And just do everything in reverse. I got the refrigerator unplugged as well. So the power is off. And to put our black tube back in, push the little circle in with your index finger and thumb or middle finger and thumb and push it in. Do you hear a snap? There we go. Pull it back out. Give it a little tug. That's good. And we'll plug it back in. Dunzo! That is all there is to it. Turn the water back on. Make sure we got no leakers. Looks good. No leaks. All right, we'll get it to call for water. Plug the ice maker back in. Call for water. I removed that big hunk of ice in here as well. Everything's clear. All right, I plugged the refrigerator back in. Ice maker is mounted, screwed back plugged in as well. Now if you want to get it to call for water faster so you don't have to stand around, just grab these white louver things here and pull them with your finger as far as you can. And they should come back up and that's when you'll see water shoot out the hole. There we go. They'll have ice dropping in the bucket in about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Easy fix. Check for leaks real quick. No water, no drippies. I think we're good to go, Skid. I'm gonna button all this back up. Make it look the way I found it when I got here. And that is how you do it. Didn't even have to replace the ice maker. It's usually the water inlet valve in the back. So you can Keep the ice maker, just change out the water valve and should be good to go. Alright, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Blades.